going to do something that I don't often do, and that is leave early. <laughs> I've dug no but trash and one button. You get days like that, but it's just nice to be out in the sun. Now because there's not going to be any more detecting done, I might as well just take this opportunity to thank everybody who put a comment on the silver to copper fines ratio video that I put out a while back. If you're not familiar with that video, I asked viewers just to give me a rough estimate of their silver to copper fines ratio in normal fields, which is pasture and ploughed fields, not old fairgrounds, not old parks, not ballparks, none of that sort of thing, just normal fields. And loads of you put your ratios from all around the world. So kind of putting everything together, I would just like to give you a little bit of feedback on that. And from the feedback that people gave me on that video, um, America, silver to fines ratio as a whole, on average, seems to be absolutely atrocious in normal fields, but very good in parks. I think that's because you used silver up till quite recently, um, 1964, five, if I'm right, somewhere thereabouts. But um, in parks, you seem to have a very good ratio, in fields, atrocious. Same story for Australia and New Zealand. They may have beautiful countryside, but they ain't got much silver in their fields. Quite a lot in the parks though. Good finds ratio in the parks. Got some results from Russia. Um, as far as I can remember, I don't think they were finding many silvers to coppers. I think it was somewhere between one in 30, one in 40 average, which still isn't too bad. Some folks from France, Netherlands and Germany didn't find many silvers to coppers and yet other people did. I think it just depends on the area you're hunting there. In certain parts of Germany, I had a couple of reports from people saying they were finding like one silver for every five or six coppers, which is absolutely amazing. Now if you remember, in England, where I hunt, I said my silver to copper finds ratio in normal fields was approximately one in 20, which I thought was pretty good. There's a lot of people got much better finds ratios than that. Some were even 1 in 6, 1 in 7, 1 in 10, 1 in 15, and that's a good ratio. What I did notice with the comments that were coming in from England, as a whole, there seemed to be a band across the middle of England where the silver finds were a lot better and a lot more frequent than further north and further south for some reason. I didn't actually get many results from down south. It's pretty much Midlands, and up over. There was some from down south, but I think they were pretty much average, 1 in 20, between 1 in 20, 1 in 30 or something, which is still okay. But that band across the middle of England seemed to produce a lot of silver. And in Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, where there's a, a lot of history, it goes way back. A few of the folks there weren't finding many modern coins, kind of you know, George VI, George V, Victorian, George and that sort of thing, but they were finding more hammered coins and of course they're made from silver. So their finds ratio was excellent. Wales, I think I had one or two people reply from Wales and in the upland areas of Wales it was terrible, one in 40, one in 50. In the lowland areas of Wales it was a little bit better. Same's true for Scotland, I had two or three from Scotland and they range from, I think about 1 in 20 to 1 in 50. 1 in 50 was up in the highlands, 1 in 20 was down in the lowlands. Obviously, where more people lived, more people dropped coins. Although I didn't include it in this video, it would have been interesting to see what the silver to copper finds ratio was in the UK on old fairground sites and also in old parks. Because I know when I've hunted those sort of sites and also mansion sites, you tend to find a lot more silver than you normally would in the outlying fields. Now them sort of sites that I just mentioned, they are particularly good if you want to find a lot of little, little silver. Sixpences, shillings, the sort of thing that parents would give their kids and say, look, there you go, I don't want to see you for two hours. The last thing they're going to give them is a half crown or a crown, so you tend not to find many of them. Pennies, half pennies, farthings, threepenny bits, sixpences, shillings, even the odd florin. They're all there in abundance on a good, busy site. Bigger silver, it turns up, but it's harder to find. But as we know, it is out there somewhere. Even on this site I'm hunting now, I've found absolutely bugger all today. It's been 
possibly one of the worst, if not the worst, detecting sessions I've ever had. But it's just nice to be out in the sun. I'm actually having to squint because it's so sunny. It's warm, I haven't got a hat on. I've just got shoes on because the ground's actually pretty dry. It's just good to be outside. And really, that's what it's all about. It's just about getting outside in the fresh air, having a nice walk about, swinging a detector or two, digging some holes and hopefully finding some good stuff now and again. Now on that silver to copper finds ratio video, in the comments, one thing I was hugely impressed by was the fact that not one person in all of those comments, and there must have been, I don't know, 100, 150 comments, said, oh no, he doesn't find this, he doesn't find that, I live near him, you know, it's just nonsense, he's making it up. Everybody just thought, he finds more than me, hmm, I wonder why, he finds less than me, I'm doing pretty well. People who found good amounts of silver were being congratulated by people who didn't find much silver at all. In all those comments, all those people, thank you very much. Uh, there's too many to name, but I do appreciate the time and effort you put in to giving me your feedback on that. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. in UK parks and also There was nobody came out and said this copper Silver finds ratio is just a load of nonsense and yeah, nah, nah, nah. Oh my.